long time no see. What brings you back here? Well, we need to find a way to get topside as quickly as possible. And we figured Corneo ought to know one. Is that so? In that case, I can help. You serious? Then tell us! Follow me. Let's just hear him out. <clears throat> so, what's the deal with the hole? Unfinished business. If you three give me a hand with it, I'll give you what you need to get topside. You want us to go back into the sewers with you? What's down there? Corneo's hidey hole. That's where I'm headed. You're not gonna try to screw us over, are you? If that's what you think, walk away. I'll find somebody else to work with. And you'll have to find another way to get topside. <sighs> All right, we're in. Say what? He betrays us, he dies. Fine by me. He means it. I'll tell you more after we've climbed down. When you're good to go, let me know. You guys ready? Okay. Follow me. Seriously, what's the deal with the hole? It's a trap for the Don's enemies. What? No one's ever gotten out alive. Well, until recently, that is. gonna hold up your end of the bargain, right? Long as you hold up yours, yeah. I don't trust you and I don't like you. So if you so much as breathe in a suspicious way, I'll turn that face of yours into a honeycomb. I'd save your bullets for the monsters if I were you. Some are a lot tougher than you'd think. Hate to say it, but I can barely take them on my own. You, on the other hand, shouldn't have any trouble, am I right? Let's get this over with. for the trunk line. It marks the border with Sector 7. You three lead the way. I'll follow a short distance behind. Easy. 
No escape. Let's do this. Let's move, move, move! Not so fast. Those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. Okay, let's go. Keep it together. Let me handle this. Not Stay in there. I got this. Guess it's my turn. Steady. I'm coming for you. Catch your leaping. I'm coming for you! 
Just like that, okay? I got gotcha. you. That's the skeleton key down here. I never got the chance to thank them for what they did. Tifa. Let's just keep moving, okay? Hate to interrupt, but the trunk line's just through that door. The one over there? Yeah, we heard you. Locked before? Your time to shine. Clear the path ahead, would you? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you something? Why did you help us out before? You could have lost everything. Andrea, you told me to. That really it? And I couldn't bring myself to let it happen again. Huh? It doesn't matter. Let's go. Good sweat. Wait. We're getting close to Corneo's hideout. From here on, I'll take the lead. supposed to get topside through here then you're telling me we're not done sorry guys but it's not that simple Without it, we're screwed. Let's go. Let's do this. Time to burn. 
Gloves up. Sure thing, coach. Gotta make a stand. <laughs> Nothing to do. Guess it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Got 
got you now. Gonna make a friend, are you? I'm not gonna hurt you, little fella. So just stay. Keep it together. Let me handle it. Ha! Too late. Let's give it your all. This one's gonna haunt me. Take the right. I'm on it! Your days are numbered, rat boy! like his owner. Give it back! That's... Give it back. That's not a key. Sorry. That's not your pendant either. Were they family? No. It was all just a dream, wasn't it? But one day? No. Time to wake up and forget. Six months ago. On that day, Corneo picked her as a bride, and on the next, she vanished without a trace. But before she did, she gave it back. Salt on the wound. Thing cost me a small fortune. Why did you want to come down here? Revenge. I know I need to let go, but I can't. 
I need closure, because without it, I'll never be able to move on. It's fine. As long as you get us topside, we're still in. Thanks. And don't worry. I got you. <sighs> you all right. I know a shortcut. Follow me. That twisted piece of shit. I'm going to enjoy beating him to a pulp. Corneo's mine, and mine alone. Huh? Please. Fine. Think we got everything? Question is, now what? It's not gonna be easy selling this stuff. Oh, I know. What about Marl? We could ask her to help. I'm sure she'd be happy to.
Wait outside. Think the kid's gonna be okay going in alone? It's Leslie! Got some urgent info for the Don! <laughs> Come alone? Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. I think I need to remind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. I'll let you in on a secret. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! I'll be lucky to live another week. <sighs> Leslie. I was gonna let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! The villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation, hmm? What do you think? You've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Huh? It's you. You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Uh. <laughs> 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 Feel free to play with your food. Gone out. Bastard. First him, then Corneo.
You okay? Where's Cornell? Sorry. Bastard got away. Uh, it's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. <sighs> she could still be out there. Can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? We'll meet again. Huh? It's a symbol of reunion. <laughs> then I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here. And then I'll give you what you need. This way. <sighs> Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But, they're one-way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order, just in case. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone, too. That right. Hope you find it. You too. Everyone who got out ahead of us... Oh, what brings you here? Gifts from an angel. They're to be used to help the people of Sector 7 rebuild. The angel of the slums? You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here. Why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use it more than me. There. Not too shabby now, is it? Why waste time crying when you could be doing something useful? Right. Plenty of work to do yet. This is our home. Come what may, it's up to us to take care of it. Yeah, you're right.
The trains haven't been running for days now. Screw you, Avalanche! My good Merc, have you heard the news? The Angel of the Slum stole Corneo's fortune and gave it to the people of Sector 7! Ha <laughs> ha! The hero that Midgar needs! That's it. I've made up my mind. I'm quitting the paper and going freelance! I'm going to write exclusively about our resident angel. As an independent, I may need to ask for your help again down the line. I'd appreciate any and all cooperation! A bandit queen with a heart of gold is exactly the sort of hero our fair city needs. Ready to do this? Once we start up that wall, we won't be coming back here anytime soon. So, when this is over, you gonna go on being a merc? That's the plan. Reckon it suits you? Yeah, it does. Used to think you were a little shit with a big attitude and a bigger inferiority complex. Quite possibly the worst person I have ever met. But that was before I figured you out. All this, it ain't you. Deep down, you're a pretty nice guy. Didn't see it when we were kids, but... Don't know about any of that. But kindness is no use on the battlefield. If anything, it's a liability. Hey, no one's asking you to treat Shinra with kid gloves. <sighs> Aerith's up there waiting for us. Then we better get a move on, huh? Ready? <laughs> 